I have a problem. I have a problem with my marathon training. So I've just written, filmed and edited a new trailer for my new marathon challenge. It's full of quick cut edits and quotes. That's out there now. Eddie Izzard, the comedian and mega long distance marathon runner, just completed a challenge like no other. She ran 31 marathons in 31 days. One. That's it, that's it. Eddie Izzard is a big inspiration for me. And watching her live feed, I realised something. I realised she started her challenge in exactly the same way I did. In exactly the same way I like to start all my challenges. It's not sometimes people say these challenges are fun. I don't necessarily find them fun. I find the finishing them real fun. You know, when I stop, I love it. I love the sense of achievement. But uh, it is a tough old bloody thing to do. And I say to anyone out there who wants to do something, just put a, if it's just a 5K, just put it in the diary and tell all your friends you're going to do it. And then you kind of feel that you have to do it. And then you'll do it. She announced her challenge to the world. She posted it on her social. And even though her social is a lot more social than mine, once it's out there, there is no pulling out. There is no letting people down. And there is no breaking promises. Are you ready? On in. Now I need to get down to business. I need to start to train. I've been training. I've been working up to this point already. Every day I've been running. I have purchased a new book. This book was recommended to me by Google, so it has to be good. You see, I have a problem with self-help books, especially the kind of self-help books that exist in the fitness world. I'm not very good at being told what to do. The language, the metaphors, the advice within these books are intentionally vague and basic. They border on patronising. They do this as they have to sell these books in thousands. For example, this book talks about choosing your qualifying race, to select a race that suits you. But I chose this book after I'd already signed up to the London Marathon this year. It talks about preparing me for being tired, that I need to eat the correct food, but doesn't go into too much specific detail about what this should be. It talks about grabbing a running partner, but I've signed up to this marathon on my own. For my previous events, I trained hard. I walked 10 to 20 miles every day without rest days for nearly a year before I took up running. I'm looking to read advice from someone who's looked down the barrel of uncertainty and then achieved what they did through trial and error. That way they know what they're talking about. I want specifics. I don't want generalizations. I don't want to read a book where no one can make any assumptions because they don't know who's reading it. It says online that some people wait years to win an elusive London Marathon ballot space. I'm not gonna waste this opportunity. If Eddie Izzard wrote a book about training for my first marathon, I'd read that. I bet her book wouldn't have a whole section on listening to music. However, considering I don't actually know what I'm doing, I'm going to stick with this book. Week one started two weeks ago. I annihilated the expected distance. I completed 41 miles in an easy 15 mile week. You see, the book gives me two options. It gives me an easy option or a push it option. I'm always going to do the push it option as a minimum. Week two, that was last week, I ran 21.09 miles. Last week I was called off guard and I spent too much time thinking about my posture, new trainers, speed, pace, distance. I didn't run. Running is supposed to be fun. It shouldn't require this much processing power. This week will be different. This week I'll over-index starting today. Today is supposed to be a rest day, so I ran four miles without thinking about pace, distance, time or gear. Today was fun.